hello everyone welcome back to the channel daddy cliff here today i'm going to take you to the beautiful country of south korea precisely at daejeon where you have chungnam national university chungnam national university currently has graduate admission for international students that is currently ongoing and it will end in may we will look at the deadlines but in this video today we are going to look for an opportunity for you to have a fully funded professor scholarship to study one of the STEMS program here yeah, that is science technology engineering and mathematics this video will be mostly for those who are into STEMS programs or STEM degree programs without taking too much of your time let me just take here that in this video I'll explain the fact that you can actually come and study in South Korea on a personal basis that is self-finance you can equally apply to study in South Korea under a guarantor or maybe your parents are financing your study and then where we'll focus in this video is a professor funded scholarship where one of the STEMS professor can actually offer you admission to either come and do a master's or a PhD. Before we get into the details of this scholarship, if you know you've not yet subscribed to the channel, why not begin by hitting that subscribe button and then make sure you turn on the notification bell so that you will always be notified whenever I upload new videos about scholarships either in South Korea, Japan or maybe USA Australia, Canada, and the greater Europe. Now let's get into the details of this scholarship. As I was saying, it is important to note that you can self-finance yourself in South Korea, but you would be required to supply a certificate of balance deposit of not more than $18,000. And then they say it shall be frozen by September 30th. And then you will be required to provide other additional documents. And then the second part is when you have a financial guarantor or maybe your parents want to finance your studies in South Korea, then they would have to provide affidavit of financial support, sponsor's employment certificate or certificate of business registration, a certificate of balance deposit of at least $18,000, which will equally be frozen by the 30th of September 2023. And then they would equally provide other additional documents as might be required either by the school or the embassy to acquire a visa and then this is the one that interests us professor or academic supervisor scholarship so they say if the financial guarantor is the prospective academic supervisor of chungnam national university applicant must submit all the documents listed below number one affidavit of financial support which is form 51 it is on the website chungnam national university website or the online application number two chungnam national university prospective academic supervisor certificate of employment they have to provide their employment document to prove that they are working for that university the third is a confirmation letter of pre-arranged scholarship grant from president of chungnam national university which means your professor would have already contacted the president of the university to request that you should be funded and then this one is talking about if the money is less than eighteen thousand dollars but don't worry it will always be more than the amount because professors do receive grants or research funds from korean government to carry out research in different fields in south korea and then the third one is a proof of research project stating budget including labor costs is additionally required it is important to know that in most science programs or maybe stems programs you will mostly be in the lab carrying out research which means for you to carry out research there is need for fund that will help you assist you in your research projects so your professor will have to talk with you online before giving you the admission on your possible research proposal topics and projects that you feel as if you would want to research on you'll have to talk about the budgets how you go about doing it without facing any problems as far as finance is concerned but now how do you go about getting this scholarship now if you go to the application guideline on page 16 you have scholarships you have two different types of scholarships you have a and this one has to do with language test score which means a scholarship will be determined based on your topic score or your english language proficiency score it says grade a scholarship waive tuition fee and only for first semester which means it's not like they'll give you the scholarship only for the first semester in the next semester they'll equally have to determine your topic level 
and then your English proficiency level and then your GPA. If you maintain a certain level of GPA, you might equally receive a scholarship. So if you look here, it says required topic level 5 or TOEFL, IELTS and other English test course like TWIC. B, it says scholarship waived about 40%. Remember, this is tuition fee waived. That's 100% but they will waive only 40% here and only for first semester then they would require you to have at least topic level four, which means if you want to have your school fees waived completely or your tuition waived completely, you should be aiming for topic level five and going upward. And then you equally have other things like IELTS. Here it's 5.5, but remember up here it's 5.6. You see the policy may change according to Chungnam National University Scholarship Committee. Now, this is what interests us the most project-based scholarship like i talked about in the very beginning that we'll be talking about stems that's science technology engineering and mathematics programs if you begin here you would see the first one is mathematics and they've broken it into different majors you have pure maths which has to do with algebra related to quantum groups so this is the professor this is the professor's contact number that's the office phone number and then this is the professor's email you can begin by emailing the professor right now or calling the professor the best thing to do is to email the professor don't contact them because you have to start by introducing yourself through an email i repeat start by introducing yourself on an email and make sure you have something like your cv your past degrees your transcript and if you have a research proposal include it email them tell them about your interest if you want to have sample videos, you can watch the video up there where I talked about professor scholarships, the things that you have to prefer when you want to get a scholarship. And for those who are going in for master's degree program, they will receive about 600,000 Korean won, which is less than $600. And then if you are going for a doctorate program, you will receive 1 million Korean won, which is less than $1,000. So this is called excellent and research excellent student as a type of scholarship for those who are going into mathematics and then there is also pure mathematics partial differential equations calculus of variation non-linear analysis data analysis this one is under professor Jin Hae Park and this is the office phone number and this is her email I think it's a she because her name is Jin email the professor if you want to go in for a doctorate or a master's this is the amount of money that you will receive on a monthly basis it is set here support fund per person per month go through this document look at the majors that are available remember these are the departments and these are the majors I'll provide a link to the website for you to have access to this document remember the fundings are different for example for somebody who is going in for architectural engineering you have two majors architectural planning building environmental design and engineering and then you have building structure engineering building material and construction these are the different professors for architectural planning you have Ju Yong Hong this is the email for master's degree they'll provide you with 300,000 won for doctor they'll provide you with 600,000 won so the fundings are different and then for example if you look up here you have department of autonomous vehicle system engineering and the money is different 1 million 1.5 so make sure before you apply you look at the conditions the financial condition and then here they say thermal fluid engineering for master's degree you receive 800,000 plus tuition fee and then for doctor you receive 1.2 million one plus tuition fee which is why I said that you have to email them and talk about funding. It is another opportunity for you to talk to the professor that you need a professor funded scholarship. For some, they've indicated clearly that they will pay your tuition fee. For others, they've indicated that they will give you financial support. For those majors where they've not mentioned tuition fee, you have to then talk to the professors. They always have funding opportunities. If you don't talk to them and then you just apply for these majors you will receive the monthly funding but you would have to pay your tuition on this document there is a section for financial that's there's a section for tuition fee payment you have to talk to them first try to email them and request for tuition fee funding if not if you apply for any of these majors they would only provide you with the monthly support and 
you would have to pay your tuition fee because they've categorized the different scholarships. So this is the opportunity that I wanted to bring to you guys to tell you that there are always opportunities in different universities. This is just one at Chungnam National University in South Korea. It is a beautiful city. South Korea is a beautiful country. Go there, concentrate, take the opportunity to contact the professors. You have everything that you need. Their phone numbers and their email. But like I said, email them first. And then if you wait for one or two days, you don't get any response. You can then follow up with a phone call. But I would request that you email them the first time and then send a follow up. If you don't get any response, then you can resort to phone calls. Don't just call them the first time. Email them first, introduce yourself, provide some documents. If your portfolio is very catchy, I'm very certain that they'll get in contact with you. They'll respond to your email. From there, you can go ahead and apply. Most of these universities, especially Chungnam National University, is located in Daejeon. They have foreign students, but they do not have a lot of foreign students because many students always apply to go and study in Seoul. If you really feel like you need a scholarship, take the opportunity to apply at Chungnam National University. It's a national university, which means it's a government university. That being said, remember to subscribe and I wish you the best in your application. But then, before we go, let me indicate that the online admission is currently ongoing and it started on the 4th of April and will end on the 26th of May at 6 p.m. Korean time. There is also an application fee of 60,000 won. That's about 50 US dollars. So make sure you read this online application guide. It is very important that you read the application guide many people always fail because they don't take the time to read the application guide so this is the application guide for international studies for graduate school that being said i'll see you in the next video Bye bye